Today we are going to assemble and install a thermostat sandwich in our engine. So for now, as you see, my car is disassembled and my engine is on the ground. So um, this is the part that we're going to do first. So this is the sandwich and has a thermostat in here, which means when I plug the input and output, and I mean input to the um, cooler, um, and it actually is output from the engine, right? So the oil will get out of here and will go to the oil radiator and will coming back in here. If you see here, sorry, it's so cold, this is so cold. So the oil comes from the top and is going to drain, it's like a slide, I don't know how to say that. Uh, it goes in here and goes through this hole, right? This two here will always be open, right? It always goes there, but it not, not always comes back, right? Because the thermostat, if you turn over, this is going to touch this little hole right here and it's going to shut. What we are going to do is I need to plug my, I have a uh, sensor, sort of oil sensor that goes to my uh, gauge, right? One of the turbo gauges. So. I'm going to put this guy down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, two of those big ones. Let me see if I can put in here. And the kit comes with a, a gasket. I have, um, I'm not sure, let me see which gasket is better. Cause this look a little thin to me. Um, and if I get my gasket, my gasket looks a little thicker. I might use some of mine. Yeah, this is a little, looks a little better to me. Um, anyway, I'm not sure I'm gonna use mine. Just put some uh, lube with some oil, tight that up in here, squeeze it tight. So my gasket doesn't let it touch their gasket. It's actually um, slimmer than mine. Yeah. It kind of does. Um, yeah, I think it'll be all right. The air gasket will be fine. So I have some um, 30 weight oil, and actually, that's. Um, to start the engine, I'm going to use uh, 1030, and I think 1030 is the oil I'm going to run the engine. Uh, not that it would matter right now, but also I'm going to get some oil on my finger, put in here. Um, so you see there are a few fittings in here, right? Two big ones. And those ones are the ones that goes in here on the cable that comes ready already. And the small ones is like a conversion from, I don't know which size is this here, maybe a 8 a.n. or 10 a.n. to this tiny thing here. So there you go. Let me clean my hands. I don't want to make everything oily. So got it there. This is the output. Gotta get a, a wrench, which might be bigger than, larger than 21. Yeah, so I'm going to get to use the beast. There you go. So I'm gonna get the beast. Just, uh, I don't want to, there you go. Okay, so one down. Now let's get the second one. Let's get another gasket. 
So my beauty kit. I have uh, two of those. It's interesting. Oh, uh, this is too big. So let's do again. Messy oil. That and boom. Clean your hands again. So those two go on top. I don't think that would matter, but so those gaskets I got, uh, they are. I don't know if it's gonna say the material. Uh, nitrile, nitro, uh, is Buna and I, I'll show you the box. I don't even know how to pronounce it, all of this, but it's a nitrile 70 shore. Uh, so it's all that we're gonna use resistance. So again, look at the side top, right? Top is where the O ring is. Look at the side where the hole is, and that's the side that's going to stay open. That's where we're going to use. Um, that's there. Oh, I could use a a normal wrench for it. All right, we got it, and this will give us the ability to do that. This kit is actually very nice. Um, the link for all of this will be down on the description. Um, but you know, I just, uh, if something happens, I'll remove that. But so far, I'm a little impressed. We have, there's Teflon tape. There's Teflon liquid, and this is actually Teflon for um, fireplace, and it's uh, gas, gas, uh, oil, gasoline is all resistant. So there's some stuff here. I'm gonna also put that in the description. So I'm gonna get that and twist this baby. There you go. Doesn't need to be too tight because it's not gonna do us any good. To complete this installation, I need to pick up a few things. So, first, the filter I had for the Mitsubishi Eclipse was too large. And if you get a normal sandwich that doesn't have uh, four points like this, or the four points are in different positions, it's all right. But this one, for example, has a wall in here and this wall, if I take this adapter out, this is the new filter. The old filter wouldn't fit inside here. It, it was larger, right? So this is for a Dodge Neon. Uh, it'll be on the description in case that happens to you. It's not a big deal, it's just $8 a filter, they replace it. Um, I mean, I returned that one, got this new one, and, and that's it. Um, we have the oil filter adapter that goes in here uh, I just remove to inspect um, it was already inspected and everything but you know it's been sitting there for a while so I left it um, I guess it this way there you go okay so with that done now we have two adapters one is M20 uh, 1.5 and the other one is three quarters uh, 416 uh, so I'm gonna try the M20 here and it's a little loose so it's not M20 I know that it's not metric so I'm going to the SA oh yeah that's perfect uh, but before fitting that we add the sandwich and we put this in the bottom. So what's going to happen is instead of the filter going here, which would be like this, right? This will be what we expect. We are going to add 
an extra sandwich and the sandwich has the screw like the filter so we're gonna put this here and pretend that this is the filter and we're going to screw all the way and on the bottom here is where the filter gets screwed so let me put some oil in here just to make it um, seal properly and very nicely and let's get started so we got some uh, SAE 30 um, I'm gonna put some on my fingers and do like this here right just a little bit let's get our adapter and let's put it in there all right so that down for this kit uh, those are 27 millimeter so I'm gonna use that keep this where I want and there you go there is the o-ring there uh, this is not aluminum so you don't run into the problem of uh, over torquing it. I mean, you shouldn't over torque anyway, but. And that's pretty much it. So here's the oil cooler lines. And this is my sensor. So now I'm just gonna uh, tap these holes here. And I guess we're good to uh, do our test. And this is our filter. Check it out. This is a Dodge Neon. So. This is how we install the sandwich. Uh, this was a little trickier because um, it has a thermostat and it has the other ports in here. Um, as you saw, I end up using my O-rings and as you've seen here, they end up um, getting out of here. So I kind of can see them and I can feel them out here. Um, I'm pretty sure when they start failing, this here is going to start leaking. So I think the o-ring they had is a little thinner and I think that's the good one to have it. Uh, but I'm not positive, so I gotta think about this a little more. And that's it. Engine is moving because it's in the hoist. Um, I, I almost think that this might be a, a bad choice of mine. Um, but I'm not sure if the cable, so the cable is like this, um, that I'm going to use for the oil cooler later, right? Uh, you don't want this to hit the ground. I think the filter is safe because the filter is smaller. Um, the oil pan is lower. So is this, those two things here. All right, guys, uh, I'm making a lot of short videos. Uh, I think they are easier to follow. It's also a good, um a good material for me to come back and uh try to figure out what i've done how i've done what did i put how i put uh, how much did i torque did i put uh permatax i didn't put permatax like ultra gray and stuff you know um and also help people i know that a lot of people are making comments on my videos now i appreciate it so this is one thing that i always ask like if you can like the video make comments you know if you see that i'm doing something wrong doesn't mean that i'm gonna change uh but you know let me know because who knows i decide to do the same thing on my g37 engine or i get a new car you know um which i'm going to but not right now and you gotta finish this one first and uh so yeah you know you know how it works like share comment and do not forget to subscribe Check out my blog, www.carmodsgarage.com, and later.